My dad um, bought home a Queen Greatest Flicks VHS from a tour he did. And um, I used to just sit in front of the TV with two cricket stumps and a biscuit tin and kind of like play along to that video. I'd sort of put it off for ages. I'd, I'd wanted to do my own project, but there's the obvious kind of stigma attached to the singing drummer. So it's like, <laughs> I didn't do it. But then, um, yeah, I kind of just thought, fuck it, I'll just do it. And yeah, I realized like loads of my heroes are all drummers first, like Ty Siegel was a drummer first, and then loads of people that managed to pull it off. So I was like, I'll just give it a go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's really fun. I Like Dav, who plays drums in the band, is he's a phenomenal drummer. So I feel really relaxed because the drums are so important to me. When we go on stage or whatever we do, I know the drums are being nailed. So it's kind of like, I can just goof around while he does all the hard work. <laughs> Everything was written and uh, recorded by me, but the uh, guy called Eddie Ashikachi produced it. He's a phenomenal musician and producer. Um, my dad played strings on a couple, three of the songs, but yeah, it was weird. I was playing drums in other bands and it was like, this project was my sort of escape. And I would just, I didn't at the time really have any grand plans of taking it on the road or anything. So I kind of like just layered it and filled it with loads of different stuff, which then when it did become a band was like, oh, we have got to try and perform this live now and stuff. So yeah, but it was never really like, um, never really even intended to be a band. It was kind of just, I was just throwing as many ideas down and trying to get as much out as I could really. I don't know if I'll change the way I write songs. I, I, can't, I, I still just write, I'm still writing songs the way I kind of always have now, which is just in my flat with a guitar, and I try and try and make sure that the song can like stand up on its own without having to like decorate it with all the production and stuff. Um, but yeah, definitely for the next record, um, we've already started recording it, and like we're going to do a few of the tracks definitely as like a live band and get. We have a song called Jackie, which is a tribute to Jackie from Can. And I wanted to like, it. we never really play it the same way twice. And like, I thought that'd be a cool thing to record like as a band and we could have some wig out experimental sections or something. <laughs>